you guys, it's Britt. Tonight we're here to talk about something a little different, but it's been coming across my For You page a lot over on TikTok, and I want to talk about Kristen Cavallari's current relationship with this guy from this group, and specifically I want to talk about age gap relationships and kind of the hypocrisy that is surrounding this entire conversation and more importantly, I want to know how y'all feel. So we're going to go over it. This is not going to be a very long video, but I figured that it would be an interesting um, opportunity to kind of get y'all to say how you feel about age gaps, especially considering the kind of content that I make. But we're going to get into it. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so let's talk about Kristen. I'm sure that most of y'all know all about her because of her days on, depending on, you know, kind of what you watched, I know of her from Laguna Beach in the Hills. And she, you know, ended up getting married to Jay Cutler, who is a <clears throat> Hall of Fame NFL player. But once she announced her divorce, obviously people took a lot of interest in her dating life like what is she gonna do she came out with a podcast and she i want to say she has always respected her children's privacy and i have always respected her for that considering that i am anti-family vlogger through and through she has always made it a point to hide her children's faces if they are in photos on her Instagram, their back is turned to the camera and or there is something to cover their identity. So I fully respect her as a mother who is choosing to protect her children, even though she has a really large audience. She has done a really good job to uh, my knowledge and from my seat on protecting her kids, which I always will respect. But aside from coming back with the podcast, she has decided to go kind of full on public with this relationship that she has hard launched on Instagram with this guy, Mark. And Mark is a 24 year old who went to a college in Montana. He was a football player and he um, is part of this group called the Montana Boys. And if you want to see cringe in a single account go ahead and watch the Montana boys lip sync to um, music as they line up in a row and everyone has had such a like their number one question is how do they choose what order they come out in and who's gonna do what motion and how is this even a thing I, I don't know but aside from the Montana boys making really cringy content and, you know, the thoughts I have around that, I want to talk about what most people are taking away from this relationship being announced. The biggest thing that people are talking about is the age gap. She is 37, he is 24. What I would like to say is if the roles were reversed and if the guy was 37 and the girl was 24, nobody would have a thing to say about this. That guy would be glamorized, admired, platformed, and given all of the compliments under the sun. But because Kristen is 37 and her new boyfriend is 24, everybody wants to say how it is. I have heard people call it exploitative, like it's a group relationship, which I will insert that video right here. So we're gonna do about it. We're recording it. Are you gonna arrest me? Are you gonna give me a ticket? The fact that everybody cheer is cheering this lady on, and there's so many people out here commenting like, as if they're not girls, is the craziest thing to me. Like so many women, oh, gay for you. My husband is 15 years younger. Like, girl, do you understand the severity of what you're saying? How ridiculous is that to look at this? relationship of two grown adults and we're not talking about somebody who is 18 or 19 and just you know turned quote of legal age he is 24 years old 
let's stop mislabeling things as grooming, exploitative, abusive, manipulative. I'm, I'm so tired of people taking something that does happen and just labeling it on everything that they come across on social media. I am over it, I am done, and I am tired. So Kristen Cavallari, I don't agree with everything she says or does, but people are being so critical of this new guy she's dating and saying that she's basically dating a child, he's so much younger than her, just, you know, basically giving her a bunch of shit as usual for women that date younger men. And I just want to point out, Stephen Coletti, who, you know, we all love Stephen, and Stephen and Kristen, we always wish it was them, but he is engaged to someone who's 10 years younger than him, and I never heard anyone say anything about that. She's in her 20s, he's in his, like, late 30s, not a word about that. And, like, yes, okay, Kristen has kids, and that makes it a little bit weirder that she would go for someone in their, like, mid-20s. But still, I just, just want to point that out, that no one ever says shit about men doing the same exact thing. So, let the girl fucking live. So I want to know, how do y'all feel about age gap relationships? How do you feel about the hypocrisy when it comes to if this was an older man and a younger woman, um, he would be, you know, celebrated and there would be no questions asked. So I think that people need to leave Kristen alone, allow these two grown adults to do what they want to do, and... That's pretty much it. Let's focus on the good that Kristen has done. She has done, you know, a few things that I've disagreed with. But as a whole, I don't think that she deserves to be raked across the coals for having a boyfriend that is 24. And that's how I feel about it. So either way, this is a really short, really quick video, but I figured that it was a good, um, really random topic that I wouldn't usually talk about, but I want to know how y'all feel. And yeah, so that's it. If you like the video, please leave a like in the comments. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.